Hi, I'm Jennifer Waldy, and we're back here once again at the Nilsson SPCA, and I'm joined by Denise, and we have this gorgeous bunny with the unique markings here with us, so tell us all about this guy. Well, this is Bugs, and as you can see, he does have a very, very beautiful coat. He's about one and a half years old, and bunnies can live to be about 10 years plus. So it's really important that they have a nice and rich environment to live in, somewhere they can hop around, not a small cage, um, and hey, fiber in their diet is probably the most important thing that you can give to your, to your pet bunny. It's really important with keeping their teeth size, with nutrition, and yeah, well often than not, a lot of bunnies don't like to be held, but um, with time and training and getting used to, they, they do, they, they, can, they can like that. Um, so yeah, if you have a few years to invest and some space in your home, he's a great pet. Well, we've now found Watson, who is uh, out in the main lobby here of the SPCA. Denise, so tell us all about this gorgeous guy. Well, funny you say found, because he was found. He came into us as a stray. Watson is 12 years old, and it's actually hard to believe, because look at how beautiful and young he looks with this big, gorgeous mane. He was adopted, but um, went to a house that probably wasn't the best suited for him. He needs to be kind of in more of a retirement, kind of easygoing, a calm environment because even though you even said yourself, he looks like he's bigger, but when you actually pick him up, he is small and frail and he needs some, he needs some good nutrition right now, but he is super mellow and really beautiful and would make a great addition to, to some household. For sure, very quiet and very just wants to cuddle with somebody, don't you? Hey, what's it? Well, that's it for us here in Nelson, and now we'll head over to Blaine Evans in Cranbrook. And we're here once again at the East Cooney branch, where we're joined, as always, by manager Brenna Baker. And this week, we are joined by Casey, who is a Border Collie cross and uh, loves to play, doesn't he? Yes, he uh, loves to play fetch. <laughs> He's 12 years old, um, but he has a lot of life to him still, and he uh, is looking for that forever home. He's been with the same owners for 12 years. So, uh, yeah, he's a great dog. He's just itching for you to throw that stick. He is. Why don't he is. we uh, go ahead and make his day? <laughs> now, will he bring it back? Uh, sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he's getting a little hot in the sun here. He just wanted to chill out in the shade. So, of course, Pause for a Cause is coming up very soon. Yep, uh, it's on September 20th, so you can register online for the Pause for a Cause or the day of. Registration is at 10 a.m and the walk starts at 11. So we have lots of fun activities that day, including a dog show and a barbecue and um, dog agility course that you can bring your own dogs on. So it's gonna be a lot of fun. Perfect, how many people are you expecting for this uh, year's event? It'd be great if we could have over 100 people show up. So we'll see, uh, it's lots of fun. Just music comes out and plays the tunes and Keon's our DJ, keeps the crowd going. So it's lots of fun. And once again, the date is September, September 20th? September 20th, yep out here at the uh, East Kootenai branch. That's right, yeah. All right, well, uh, if you'd like more information on Casey or any of the other pets we feature here on adopt a pet you can visit the SPCA's website, spca.bc.ca. Brenna, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you.